And speaking of Wombat, I guess the thing that everyone's talking about is his clash with Mr. Righty. Yeah. So in his initial send, you know, Righty came for Wombat, chilling it, Shadow. Shadow and yourself. Yeah. So a lot of people are being like, oh, you know, Chill's not going to reply because he's obviously out there doing his thing. But I think everyone was expecting, not expecting, probably hoping for a reply from, you know, yourself or either Shadow. And then obviously Wombat was the one that ended Did up replying. Yeah. But yeah so, so what was the reasoning behind you kind of not replying to that? To be fair, I think that dropped on like a, that dropped on like a Thursday. I was out at, uh, you know, I was actually, when it dropped, I was at the Queensland Music Video Awards <laughs> and Golly, Golly was in the, in the, in the thing for it. So I was yeah. out and I was like, yeah, mad, he's in the running for like a music video award. And I look at Insta and I'm like, oh, Mr. Righty's tagged me, Shadow, Chill and Wombat in a video. And straight away I was like, all right, cool. This is definitely like a diss. I can't be fucked listening to this right now. So I just like didn't watch it for like a week because I knew I was dropping my EP the next day and I had heaps of shit lined up. And I was like, all I want to do right now is focus on my music and like get it out and like whatever. I knew what it was going to be. And then obviously I start getting DMs all over the place, blah, 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 people tagging everything. I eventually watched it and I was like, oh, that wasn't too bad. Like, I don't know. He said some pretty savage shit about Wombat and chill and shadow but it was all quite jovial and for the sport sort of thing and like the shit he said about me i was just like oh that's actually kind of funny like i remember like <laughs> yeah. the thing that he said about like oh you look like you're in year 10 i was like eh, that's cool <laughs> like that's funny i don't know like i didn't i don't take offense to that shit because like um you kind of choose to take offense to shit and i understand that it's part of grime culture like clashing and like clapping back at people but like i was just so focused on my own shit i was like i don't even care and i can't be bothered to if i if i send back and i want to clash that means i got to write fucking like three songs worth of lyrics just about this dude i don't even know about how i hate him which i don't you know what i mean and i like can't i just can't be bothered man like i have enough i haven't i, I spend enough time trying to write my own songs because i'm like I hate my shit and like you know, like everyone, like they hate their own shit. I'm a mad perfectionist. It takes me a long time to get my shit right. So I don't want to have to do that for three months about some fat dude. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, but anyway, it was real satisfying going to the clash, man. That was sick. Yeah, you're an interesting position because you're obviously there as Wombat's mate, someone who's come up with him, like you said, but you're also kind of the sound guy. So you <laughs> kind of <laughs> behind the soundboard, making sure everyone's mic levels were right and shit, but also kind of cheering on Wombat from from, I was, from, a, from a slight distance. I was yeah. trying to stay impartial, man. Like I was there fixing the mics and everything, just like listening. And then like, you know, Righty whips out his phone and mm. he starts like, and I was like, oof. And I think- That was crazy when he whipped out his bro, phone. Bro, I think yeah. like a lot of people were just like, there was a lot of people that like didn't, like, cause there were people there that like, I think like maybe like Mark from Saint Side and stuff, he probably hadn't like seen much of this sort of stuff before. I don't know. And he was like, is that, is that okay? And I was yeah. like, that is not okay. Yeah. That is never okay. And like everyone else was just like, whoa. But for the, for the purpose of having a good time and enjoying it, like no one did anything. Like they just let it happen. But I was just like, whoa. And um, yeah, it was hectic. And Wombat like went real hard. But yeah, I, I stayed impartial because I was in the background of the whole shot. You know what I mean? Like the <laughs> yeah. camera's pointing at me. I'm just like, yeah, sweet. I'm just doing my thing. And... But then Wombat started going real hard in the third round and I had to just be like, woo, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it was sick. It was good to see. And like during it, I was like, fuck, I could actually probably get around doing something like this. Cause it was like mad, mad energy, you know? Cause like there was no, they were pretty savage to each other leading up to it, but there was no, on the day, there was no inkling that anything was gonna like spark Bob up. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? It was just like, it was, like I said from the start with Righty's send, it was like, this is obvious, like he's being a cheeky cunt, but this is obviously sport. Like he's doing this for fun. He doesn't fucking hate everyone. But um, yeah, I guess like I just didn't reply because I just didn't feel like it. I don't know. I didn't, I, like, I didn't feel like I was pretty much just like none taken. I can't be bothered. Like I don't, I don't, I don't, if someone really disrespected me, you know what I mean? But mm. like, I'm not the type to get pissed off because one person says something about me because I'm like, oh, well, I know it's not, I know, I know it's, I know I'm sweet, so you can say what you want type thing. Obviously, it's like part of it, but yeah. And also like, he, I know he sat on that thing for like four months. Like he sat on that disc for four months. 
Mm. And I'm just like, bruh. And also like, if you dropped it like a year or two ago when I was fully doing grime, fully talking about clashing all the time, yeah, probably would have had to do it or else I would have looked like a shit cunt. But when I'm about to drop Mama's Boy EP, there's nothing on that shit that sounds like grime. Mm. I'm just gonna drop that and like do my tour. You know what I mean? Like it would have been fucked trying to juggle falls, tour, you know, all this different shit and then go do a clash. Um, but yeah, I guess that's that. Wasn't high on your priority list. Yes. As, as, as douchey as that sounds, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have time for that shit, man. <laughs> but like, actually though, yeah.